Mal at one for abandon. You guys have a very difficult part, okay? So, but that's why you're here and that's why you're in all county and that's why you're awesome. So, we're going to do it with individual mallets first. I'm gonna show you the right-handed mallet first and then I'm gonna show you the left-handed mallet, okay? So first you're gonna start with your right hand. You're gonna start on high C, okay? We're gonna start by going C, G, and then C. I'm gonna sing it for you and do it at a nice slow tempo. Ready? And here I go. C, G, C, C, A, C, C, G, C, B, B, A, B. So notice a little pattern that went on there. We had C to G, then back to C. Then we had C, A, C. Then we went back to the beginning and did C, G, C, and then something totally different. B, B, A, B. Go ahead and practice that part and then pause the video and then come back and uh, for the left-handed mallet. Okay, now we're ready for the left-handed mallet on mallet one for abandon. So we're going to have, starting on G with our G, E to G. Then we go A, F, A, then G, E, G, then you stay on that G. G, G, F, G. Okay, let me do that slowly with you while I'm singing it. Ready? And here I go. G, E, G, A, F, A. G, E, G, 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 F, G. Go ahead and practice that part, and then I'm going to do in a different video both of the hands together. Good luck. Hello friends, this is mallet one with both hands together at the same time. Now to help you be able to see the notes, uh, Mrs. Miller is going to be playing uh, right down here, but we all know that we should be playing in the belly buttons, right? Little sweet spot like the Pillsbury Door Boy, hee <laughs> hee. So you, you're going to see me go a little bit um, under that, kind of towards the feet so that you guys can see the, um, the letter names, okay? so. I'd like to break this up into four parts, okay? So the first part, you have C and G, okay? And you have, you basically go from here to E and G, and then you go back to the same place. You always end back up in the same place where you were before, okay? So you have the first part, we have C and G, and then E and G. Let's watch that quickly. Then for the second part, you have A and C, and then F and A. So that one only has one bar in between each time. Always ending up back in the same place. Let's watch that one again. Let me put part one and part two together. Listen in carefully, like we're starting on G and C. Very good. Then you're going to go back to the part that you did at the first time, the, the technically the third part of the A section is the same thing you just did. Okay, so we already know that. So let's put those three parts together. We have then your last and final part starts with G and B and then goes to F and A. Watch that part again. We have G and B, then F and A. Watch carefully. Good. Now let's put it all together. I have G and C ready and here we go. Now, sooner or later, you guys are going to be practicing this so much that you're going to be able to put it up to at tempo, which the tempo that I'd like to take it at at our performance is this tempo right here. Let's listen to it all together. Ready? And here we go. 